This is Magpie Lane in Oxford. You'll find it just off the High Street, which is also known as the A420. Cool. Today, it's nothing more than a small road used for access, but in the 13th century, this unassuming street had a very different life and indeed a very different name. A name that is so offensive it's been deliberately phased out over the years before being removed altogether and consigned to the history books. And that name? Grope Lane. Yes, the C word. I'll be saying that a lot in this video. Sorry, Mum. Magpie Lane in Oxford used to be called Grope Lane, and as the name suggests, it might have been the place to go to if you wanted to, you know, grope a... Yeah. <laughs> no, really though. In the 1200s, roads were often given names that reflected their function, and this mainly worked by looking at what commodities were sold on any given road. It's given us street names like Silver Street, Brewer Street, and Fish Street, and of course, Grope Lane, or Street. So what sort of activities could one get involved in at Grope Lane? Well, obviously it depends on how much cash you've got, but like I said, if you wanted to grope a... Yeah, then this probably would have been the street to go to. Or, to put it a slightly different way, back in the good old days, prostitution was rife, and whilst not legal, it was certainly tolerated, with most cities featuring a red light district. Oxford was no exception, with its red light districts being confined to a single road, so it's perhaps easy to see why it ended up being called Grope Lane. Magpie Lane, aka Grope Lane, wasn't the only road to be given this name, and according to records, it wasn't even the first. That title can be taken by Grope Lane found in Southwark, London. It was first recorded as existing in 1230, and whilst it's fair to say it or others may have existed before this time, that was the first time that anybody made a note of it. Since then, other records of Grope Lane have been made all over. Parsons Street in Banbury used to be called Grope Lane. St Benedict's Court in Glastonbury, yep, used to be called Grope Lane. London had several Grope Lanes, of course, and Worcester, Bristol and Southampton all had a Grope Lane where you'd have found a thriving red light district. What a time to be alive. There were variations on the name as well, such as Grap Lane. The meaning is the same because Grap is Old English for Grope. And in Shrewsbury, we find Grope Lane, a slightly less offensive name, but it's where you'd have found Shrewsbury's red light district. Bonus fact, other spellings of Grope Lane have been recorded, such as Grope Lane, Grope Lane, Grope Lane, and Grope Lane. <laughs> How many times are we gonna say But what's happened to all of these roads? Well, the roads mostly still exist, but it turns out the word became quite offensive. It's hard to pinpoint when exactly, but the name Grope seemed to start disappearing as early as the 14th century. Initially, it appears they used some of those more obscure spellings, but as time went on, the removal of the word seemed to become more of a priority. In a lot of situations, the name would be changed to Grope Lane, Grove Lane, or as is the case in York, Grape Lane. Don't get me wrong, you could still get your end away and all of that, it's just the roads had a fancy new name. A bit like a rebrand or something. It took a bit longer for some though, and it wouldn't be until the 17th century that Grope Lane in Oxford became known as Magpie Lane. It had another name change in the late 19th century to Grove Street. An interesting choice because the name Grove was a common replacement for Grope Lane back when they set about making that name change. I'm not sure if they realised the connection, but in 1927 they changed the name back to Magpie Lane. Eventually, all offensive variants of the name Grope were replaced, and if you're in a major town with a road or street named Grove or Grape, it's very likely that once upon a time this would have been the centre of prostitution for your town. Maybe it still is. If you would be so kind as to hit the like and subscribe buttons, that would really help me out. I suspect YouTube are not going to let me monetize this video. Thank you very much to Mike for the idea behind this video. If you want to get in touch just like Mike did, then join us on the Facebook group. Search for Auto Shenanigans, join the group. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.